Hello friends. I have created a simple SIM 800L library, which makes it easy to control the powerful SIM 800L module without complex low-level code. Follow my step-by-step -step guide, and you'll be ready to create your own projects using this powerful module. Let's get started. First, download the SIM 800L library from my GitHub repository. Once you have downloaded the library, you just open up your Arduino IDE to install the library. Here, you can use the Add Zip Library option to install my new SIM 800L library. Here, select the library that we have just downloaded before, and then click on Open button to install the library. Now I have installed the SIM 800L library. Let's dive in and write some sample code to control SIM 800L GSM module. I will start by including the SIM 800L library. Next, I will create an instance of the SIM 800L class and specify the pins for the RX and TX connections. Here pin 2 is used for RX and pin 3 is used for TX. After that, I will define two callback functions one for handling incoming SMS messages, and one for handling incoming phone calls. These are the callback functions, and these are run automatically when a new text message or phone call is received. I will talk more about these functions later. In the setup function, I will begin serial communication with the baud rate 9600. Then, I will initialize the SIM 800L object using SIM 800L.begin function, and I have set the same baud rate as above. Next, we set up the previously defined callback functions. These functions will be automatically run when the SIM 800L module receives a new SMS message or a phone call. Finally, in the loop function, we call the listen method of the SIM 800L object. This function will continuously listen for incoming messages and phone calls. And when a new text message or phone call is received, it will transfer control to the callback functions that I have defined above. That's a quick overview of the sample code. Now, let's talk about the working of the code. Here I have created callback function called handle SMS. This function will execute automatically when a new SMS will receive to the SIM 800L module. For example, if you send a text message to the SIM 800L module, it will go to the handle SMS function along with the phone number and the message text. And inside the handle SMS function, I have displayed the message and phone number on the serial monitor. Similarly, if you make a phone call to the SIM 800L module, the call will directly go to the second callback function called handle calls. And inside this function, I have displayed the caller's phone number on the serial monitor. Now, let's test the code by uploading it to the Arduino Uno. After uploading the code, open serial monitor. Here, first the code will prepare the GSM module by sending some basic AT commands to configure the module. If everything is working correctly, you will see a message that says, Module is ready. This means that the project is now able to receive SMS messages and make phone calls. Next, I send an SMS message to the module with the text, Hello. And this message will be received by the handle SMS function, which will then show the message and phone number on the serial monitor. Similarly, if I make a call to the GSM module, then call will be received by the handle calls function. And it will then display a notification on the serial monitor, along with the caller's phone number. This way you can communicate with the GSM module. Next, I will show you how to use the SIM 800L library to control the built-in LED of Arduino using this sample code. First, I will need to add a variable to represent the LED pin. And I will be using pin 13 for the LED because built-in LED is connected to pin 13 of Arduino. 
Now, let's modify the setup function to initialize the LED pin. I will use the pin mode function to set pin 13 as an output pin. Next, I will modify the handle SMS function to turn on the LED. Here, I will use an if condition to see if we receive a new SMS with the text on. And if it is true, then I will just use the digital write function to set the LED pin to high, which will turn on the built in LED of Arduino. Similarly, we will modify the handle SMS function to turn off the LED when we receive an SMS with the text off. I will use the digital write function to set the LED pin to low to turn off the LED. Finally, let's modify the handle call function to toggle the LED when we receive a call. Here, we will use the digital read function to check the current state of the LED pin. And then, I will use the digital write function to toggle the state of the LED. And that's it. With these modifications, you can now use the SIM 800L module to control built-in LED of Arduino using your mobile phone. Now, let's turn on the LED by sending on command from the mobile phone. And wait for the message to be received by the GSM module. Once the message is received, the LED will turn on. Next, to turn off the LED, send a message saying off. And wait for it to be received by the GSM module. Once it received, the LED will turn off immediately, as you can observe here. You can also turn on the LED by making a phone call to the SIM 800 LGSM module. To turn off the LED, make another phone call from your phone and the LED will turn off immediately. This is how you can control the LED using SIM 800L. Next, if you want to control the relay instead of LED, and you also want to receive feedback on your phone about the status of the relay, then you need to use the send SMS function of SIM 800L library. It will take two arguments, the first one is the phone number, where you want to send the response. In our case, it is the same phone number that we will use to send commands. And the second argument is the message that you want to send as a feedback. In our case, it is relay is on and it will be sent to your phone as feedback. You also need to add same function inside the next if condition block code. And this time I will set it to relay is off and it will be sent to the Arduino as a response. Next, you will also need to replace the LED pin variable to relay pin. You just need to replace all the occurrence of the LED pin variable with the relay pin variable. And here I will set the relay pin to pin 12. This is the pin where I will connect my relay module. Now let's quickly test the code by uploading it to Arduino. Here I have connected the relay module to pin 12 of Arduino. Now, I will send on command to turn on the relay. And soon the relay will turn on. Here you will need to wait for response message. Here we have it, the response message is received. The same way, if I will send command to turn off the relay. Then it will gives you the response message, relay is off. Next, if you want to accept SMS and calls only from a specific phone number, such as your own personal phone number, you can easily do it by modifying the handle SMS and handle call functions. Here, I will include a conditional statement and I will add my personal phone number in it. It will check if the incoming phone number matches to your own phone number. If the phone number matches, you can perform the desired action, such as turning on an LED or relay module. If it doesn't match, then I will simply ignore the SMS. You will also need to add the same condition inside the handle call function. This way you can only accept SMS and calls from a specific phone number, such as your own personal phone number. 
The last thing you need to know is that the AT commands are turned off by default. This means that if you try sending any AT command using the serial monitor, you won't get a response. However, if you want to send AT commands from the serial monitor, you can add a code block inside the loop function and your module will be ready to send AT commands. You can also try different example codes that comes with the library. Here is the wiring diagram. Follow it to connect everything correctly. If you have trouble connecting the hardware, then you must watch my this video. Here I explain how to connect the SIM 800L to Arduino. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Bye.